So let's spend a few minutes talking a little bit about our cloud technology and what cloud technology means. And today we're going to talk just for a minute or so about some of these terms and we're going to really just address in this conversation, we're really going to talk about infrastructure as a service. So what is infrastructure as a service? Well, first of all, before we get started, let's just review again the primary components of a cloud infrastructure. So it's important that we understand what all of these primary components are within our infrastructure. And so I'm looking at you right now. Can you tell me what they are? Anybody want to guess out there? Okay, so let's go ahead and fill these in of what exactly we're drawing here on the screen. So, of course, at the top of your cloud infrastructure has got to be some form of uh, security, right? A firewall, that type of thing. You also have your server infrastructure, and then, of course, you have your disk. These are disks, you know, your disk, your storage infrastructure, and then, of course, you have your network infrastructure. So those are just kind of the four primary areas within a secure uh, or within a cloud environment period. And then of course we lock all of it down. Uh, this is a lock for those of you that don't know what I'm drawing here. Um, <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and lock this bad boy down and that's going to be infrastructure as a service. So what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and draw where that kind of D mark is. So we're going to draw a line right here. This service right here is providing what we call a hypervisor. And I guess it's providing more than just the hypervisor. This is kind of what often people call the cloud core, right? And so you're going to have things in there like, you know, provisioning, deprovisioning. You're going to have your metrics of what you're using, things of that in the, nature, in the cloud. You know, and then you're going to have your common IT services uh, within this infrastructure. This is everything below the hypervisor. Everything below the hypervisor. That is typically referred to as infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure as a service. So we're giving the service of infrastructure, which is right here below, again, can't emphasize this enough, below the hypervisor. So what do you do? Above the hypervisor, what does this really give you? This gives you a platform by which you're going to now build your services upon. So, for example, a network operating system, and let's say you're going to install an email solution. Or maybe you're going to install a network operating system over here. And uh, let's say that this one happens to be Red Hat, and maybe this one is Windows. All right, and then we're going to put on some sort of application. Let's say that we're going to do some sort of, um, oh, I don't know, mobile mobility management, right? Maybe you're going to manage all your tablets. So this would be like an MDM type of solution, and this would be a email as a service type of solution. So that's kind of where we're at here on this discussion. This is infrastructure service. Again, everything below the hypervisor is infrastructure service, and then this environment here begins to enter into software as a service and platform as a service. Check other videos for additional information.